Welcome to my channel folks. Today I'm going to show you how you can associate multiple security groups to a single EC2 instance. There are scenarios in production where an EC2 instance will be running as a web server as well as as an application server. In those cases, it would be useful to separate the security group into two and one of them will be designated for web, another one will be for app and the rules will also be containing those specific tiers. So if you have already started your instance just like me and you're wondering how you can add additional security group, today I'm going to show you how you can do that. Let me get back to my EC2 dashboard. Here, as you can see, I have a web app server running and it currently has only public security group. And you can see there, there are three rules are there for port 80, for HTTP and HTTPS under 443 and port 22 for SSH. So what we are going to do now is we are going to add a private security group also to this instance. So for that, what we are going to do is we are going to go to network interfaces and there we should be having the network interface for our web app server. So under this network interface, select that and click on actions and you'll have change security group. And here all I have to do is choose your control on your keyboard and you have to select multiple times on all the different security groups that you need. So in this case, I'm going to select the private security group also and click on save. So once you do that, you can see here automatically this interface is having both the security groups assigned to it and all the rules that are applied to the private security group will also be uh, applicable to this instance. So this is for a running instance. And in case if you are wondering how you want to do that in an instance that is about to be created, then if you go to the creation uh, tab, you will have a checklist here. Usually people end up clicking one or either options, but it is possible to choose more than one security group here and ensure that your instance has a security group of more than one. And remember, when you have more than one, it becomes more difficult to maintain them because the rules might be conflicting. So you need to be careful enough to make sure that the rules in both the security groups are not conflicting anymore. So that is how you associate multiple security groups to an EC2 instance. If you have any questions, go ahead and write them in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.